Hello and welcome back. This is Ashwal Rafi once again. In this video, we are going to work on this beautiful countdown timer design which has a background story. So a few hours back, I uploaded a video on YouTube where I applied on an Upwork job where client has a specific issue with his countdown design page and he hired someone on Upwork to solve this problem but the developer was failed and if I just show you the design which is this one so what I thought why shouldn't I make a similar page design just like this one and let uh, let me just show you how you can design these types of countdown timer page so if you ever face or find any similar job post you can take advantage of so without further ado let me just show you how you can create these types of beautiful countdown timer with free plugins on wordpress so let me just take you to my wordpress backend from here and i'm going to take you to my plugins page to show you what are the plugins i have got so far as you can see elementor free version and then essential add-ons for elementor this one is also free now i need one more plugin and let me show you which one so let me click on add new and after that i'm going to type out magical add-ons and it should be appeared here as you can see magical add-ons for elementor let's click on install now so that it will be installed and we are going to activate this one to start creating this beautiful countdown timer page for um our 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 use okay so let me just click on activate and from here let it let's just keep it as it is now let's go to pages and i'm going to create a new page so let me open a new uh, tab here and after that I'm going to give a name let's say um, CD Tuto as an example and after that I'm going to choose the template to Elementor canvas let's click on publish publish and I'm going to click on edit with Elementor from here so that we'll have the editing panel of Elementor now I'd love to omit this um, tab from here and I'd love to keep only this step and this step so that it will be easy for me to navigate so now what I need to do I need to take a section so let's click on this plus icon so let's take this row and here we go we have got this section the first thing I'd love to do let's click here and then I'd love to increase the height so let me choose it to minimum height so that it will look like this and now we I'd love to take the color code from here so let's keep the color I actually click here on this icon let's go to style and from here let's go to classic now, now let's select the color from here and I'd love to click here and let's select this color as an example right and now what I'm going to do as you can see we have got two columns one column has this timer and another column has this button so let me just click here then let's take this inner section widget right between this um, uh, row or column whatever you want to say and then as you can see we have got these two columns in one column i'm going to click here let me take the counter widget so let me type out counter and as you have installed magical add-ons we have got this countdown timer appearing here so mg countdown so let me just drag and drop it here and you're going to have this um countdown timer already been added now let's go for the next section as you can see we have got this button so let me just drag and drop a button widget right here and we are going to work on this letter so first of all let's just start working on this widget so first thing we have to do let's click here so that we'll have this edit mg countdown panel and then we'll be able to display type as you can see you can select time countdown you can select number countdown if you want you can select clock time countdown if you want and let's just select this one time countdown so that we'll go for this um, design so let's go back here and after that let's set the time so I'd love to set the time to let's say today is okay it's 2020 November so I'd love to take it to 2020 and from here I'd love to give uh, take you to January 2021 January 16 and then let's say I'd love to give it to AM here right so here we go 15 14 5 so we have got these um, 14 hours minutes and then these seconds but we are not seeing this um, label text so don't worry we're going to work on this soon so now let's go back here and as you can see we have got these uh, colors white and then we have got a little bit of dark color here as well so let me just go back here we are going to click here again and then go to style and from here as you can see number background colors we are going to take a dark color than this one so I'm going to 
um, take the color code actually so let's click here let's take the color code from here and let's click here again and after that number background color let's click here paste the color code and I'm going to just simply change a little bit so just take a look we have got a little bit of dark color right here right so now let's go back again we have got these digits in white color this um, label text in white color so let me take you back here we are going to make the change so let's click here as you can see number color it should be white instead of this gray now we have got this one and then we have got these dots so as you can see number dot color so we are going to click here they should be white as well according to our this design so now what else we have to do here we have to take uh, these labels uh, right after this number digit so let me take you take these labels so let's click here and after that you are going to find this countdown label style let's click on it and after that change the color to white and after that we will be able to um, change the typography from here so let me just increase the size a little more and I'd love to keep this size 25 it is looking good and now let's click here and then let me show you this one is in bottom so we are going to take them in bottom as well so from margin i am going to unlink this one and then from top i'm going to give some um, margin here and i think this is looking good here right to 145 or let's say 150 we can give it is going to look nicer if i just uh, show you like this okay and now what we have got here we have we, we are done with this part almost now we have to work on this button so let me just uh, start customizing so first thing i'd love to give is i'm going to select this column and then i'm going to give the alignment of vertical alignment to middle so that it will be here so now let's click on this button so that you will get this alignment as well so i'm going to click on center aligned all right so we have got this basic setup done now let's go back here and we need to type out get more entries here so i'm going to click here instead of click here we are going to type out get more entries and after this we have got this arrow sign so let me take you back here again and from this icon we are going to select icon library and we are going to type out arrow and this is the arrow which we are looking for let's click on insert it is insert before the text but we want it after the text so as you can see icon position should be after all right so we have got this basic thing done now if we just notice we have got the background color uh, in white and then the text color is little darker so let me just change the background color of this text go to style and after that you're going to find this background color which is going to be white and the text color is going to be uh, this color right and now we are going to increase the size of this um, text color so that actually text so that it will look nicer so I'm going to increase a little bit so let's say 40 or 35 maybe looking going to look good here and if you just take a look at this button we have got some margin uh, sorry we have got some padding stuff here so I'm going to increase the padding so let's click here and after that you're going to find this padding so unlike this one I'm going to give on top let's say 15 on bottom I'd love to give 15 and in top right and left let's say 30 and 30 pixels of padding just take a look how beautiful it is looking like so if I just show you it is looking like this right we are almost um, almost close to our original design here now let's go back here we're going to change this background color so let's go back here let me just expand this uh, editing panel and after that we have to select this whole section from here and then we are going to style and then we are going to change the background color as you can see color and I'd love to click here then change the color as you want all right so whatever it is looking best just change or you can simply follow the clients um, requirement all right so I'd love to keep this as of now like this um, okay so I think if I if I just spend a few more minutes I'll be able to make it exactly as it is looking like this but let me just keep this uh, for because I don't want to uh, make this video much longer all right so this was it guys I believe I was able to show you the process how you can create beautiful 
beautiful countdown um, countdown timer design page for yourself or for your client so i believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and let me know your opinions by commenting below and subscribe to my channel if you're interested to learn more about elementor how to work as a freelancer by providing elementor based services because i upload these types of videos Thank you so much for watching this long and I hope to see you in the next video. All the very best. Bye bye.